have a little gem so I come back to my channel. So, spares idea, spares idea, spares idea. I haven't done a spares idea for a while. So, I have to go and um, take this out of somebody's um, bottle bin because I don't drink. I never drink, you know, I'm not against drinking or nothing. I just don't drink and I hate wine. Ugh, wine is disgusting to me. So, yeah, I nicked a wine bottle out of somebody's recycling <laughs> because... I don't drink so yeah um what you need yourself is a nice wine bottle you can get yourself a normal one a colored one anything you want and i have got somewhere i know i've got them because i brought them at christmas which i never used yet i've got those little cork light things so yeah i'll be putting that in decorating it up and yeah so that is the plan so uh, I'll be using again the good old B7000 glue to decorate this up and uh, I think it will make a nice little feature piece so yeah that is the plan is I'm going to be decorating up a wine bottle so yeah if you don't have wine if you're not if you're like me don't drink wine um, I know at Poundland at Christmas they was selling the wine bottle with a the lights in them so you keep an eye they might bring them back i don't know um but if they don't just grab one out someone's recycling when you walk past that's what i did you know loads of people drink wine on my street so i just pinched one out one of the recycling bins not gonna hurt is it you know or you can always use a five club bottle and all that you know there's so many different bottles that people could figure that they recycle and I just thought I'd just use a normal wine bottle because you know it's quite a long wine bottle though but hey ho it should be quite nice so yeah I'll be using the old B7000 glue to stick them on because that stuff is brilliant really really good so yeah I'll give it a good clean and I will get the label off it so we can get started all right so let's get cracking shall we So let's carry on. Um, I'll do a little bit of talky talky. She says a little bit of talky talky, and then she ends up talky talky for ages, don't she? But yeah, um, do a bit of talky talky, and then um, yeah, so I can get this bottle finished because then I've got to do my nephew a t-shirt for school because he's got a school a maths rocks thing at school, and my sister's asked me to decorate a t-shirt for him. So yeah, um, I. So, yeah, so I want to get this done quickly and then get that side because I've only got a couple days to get that T-shirt and he arrived yesterday. So, so I'm going to stick on... Ooh, you probably, I'm trying to do good angles with the old phone. Half decent angles anyway. And then, um, yeah, so that is my orange thingy. Yeah, I'm using the old B7000 glue. I do need to get some more from Amazon. But it does last ages. Look, I've done that big massive chest of drawers with it. And I've done so many projects. It's unreal. So, yeah, it does last a long time. So, yeah, it's not like I get through the stuff, like, too quickly. But, no, I... It does last a very, very long time. I have to use tweezers to... So, yeah, I've just um, been using a few special shapes and mainly these green ones that Karen sent me. Originally, I did start off with, like, a vine design and I just wasn't liking all the spaces. So, I decided to fill, in it, fill it in and then... Um, what do you call it? Yeah, just fill in all the gaps and just do cover the whole thing and then just do flowers every now and then. 
so yeah but i am liking how it's coming on and i have found the one of the cork lights i'm pretty sure i used the other one on something else on um, a christmas tree i'm pretty sure i used it on the star so yeah um so i obviously i only had one left but that's still fun i still had one. i knew i had two because i bought it was like a two pack from poundland so Yeah, just do a load of dots and then carry on putting on the greens. So, yeah, these greens that um, I've got here is what Koran sent me. And they do look really nice. So, yeah, so how are you all doing? I'm doing good. I've actually got a week off next week. So, and I've got, like, so much to do. It's unreal. See, I've got some things to do in the house and just, you know, it's just going to be a busy week off. But it'll be nice because it'll be the first proper week off in ages that me and my husband have got together. So, yeah, it will be nice. It really will be. So, I'm looking forward to that. You know, having a week off together with my husband as we haven't had any time off together in, a, you know, proper like holiday together in so long. So, yeah, I am really, really, really looking forward to that. So, yeah, um, yes, yeah, so I've got to do a t shirt for, so I've got a few people ask me to do stuff. Um, so yeah, I've got a t-shirt to do for my nephew for his school. And then uh, my friend Shez has asked me to decorate a skull for her son. And then someone else I know has asked me to do a can of Red Bull. Not can of Red Bull, um, a can of Monster. So yeah, um, I just need to get some light drills the light lighter green drills i've got darker darker green i just need to get some lighter green drills for that so yeah um to do that for her uh but the royal the post is just i think uh, she did say she i reckon she had might have sent her a dollar yet i need to check because the royal mail at the moment we're lucky to get and be getting posts like once every two weeks so i don't know what it's like for anyone else across the uk you know um waiting on posts at the moment if you're waiting on important things or hospital letters and that i would ring the hospital yourself and check and make sure you're not going to miss a, an appointment because the letter hasn't come through because it's happening quite quite a few people on my like local community groups so yeah um because apparently they've stopped over time, they've stopped, they've cut hours, they've they've just really destroyed the Royal Mail, the COs and all that. It's such a shame because obviously I think they just try and privatise it or whatever it is. It's disgusting really because I feel sorry for the postmen. Because they're the ones that get in the neck from, you know people they delivered to, there are people having a go at them in there and it's not their fault. It's really not their fault, you know, what what the CEOs decide to do. So yeah. I um so yeah um I watched a video this morning on TikTok. Um some people might have already heard about it on the news or whatever. But basically, it's a staffy attacking a police horse. And I don't blame the dog at all. I blame the owners. It's because of brain-dead, stupid owners. You know, that dog is now uh, an unalive dog. 
and it just maddens me so much. It's like when, when my Sophie and Molly were younger, we used to take them down to great, uh, a big, massive country park a few towns away. And I mean, it is huge, you know, and it's used by fishermen and... Uh, what do you call it? It's used by fishermen and it's used by because it's got a massive lake in it, and it's also used by horses. And uh, we're plodding along. Uh, uh, this is an area where you can can have your dog off lead and everything. And we're plodding along, and we see in the distance a horse. Oh, we only had more. We only had Sophie at the time, actually. Tell a lie. And um, and it's. Don't get me wrong, I'm no perfect dog owner at all. But common sense always says, tells me, like, you see your horse, you put your dog on the lead, you know. And, um, like, we see this this horse, like, in the distance, and we quickly grab Sophie, put her on the lead, tell her to sit. And she didn't know what to make of the horse. You know, I you could tell she wanted to go and investigate, but obviously we wouldn't let her. But, yeah, obviously... Because she didn't know what this huge... She must have just thought it's a massive dog that these people were riding, you know. But, yeah, it's just, I just don't understand how... But the owner, most of the time, just stood there doing nothing. And I was just like, just get your dog, you idiot. And that poor horse, it was biting the poor horse and everything. You know, it wasn't just like... It was actually going for this poor horse. And I felt so bad for the poor horse. It broke my heart to watch. And it made me so angry because of idiots. People who should not be allowed to own a dog. So we'd, we'd love to get another dog, but we just know at the moment in our life, it's the time's not right. It's not fair on, on the animal, you know. Yeah, and we would love to get another dog, but we 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 know in ourselves that it's just just not really the best time to get a dog for us, you know. And um, we do miss having a dog, we really do. But like the way you got to think about it, the way we got to think about it is they are. A dog is a tie. A dog is a big responsibility. And like yes, there will be somebody here all the time. Not all the time, maybe for a couple of hours here and there that somebody would be with 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 a dog now, with my mine and my husband's work schedules. But we know in our hearts you know, uh, we we're at that uh, currently we're at the stage of life where we want to go on holidays and all that. You know, so we've we've said no. We're gonna we're not gonna get a dog right now. We're gonna wait until the time is right. You know, and don't get me wrong. We love having a dog. You know, the, any any pet we get it becomes my my baby you know and it's the heartbreak as well it, it truly is the heartbreak that you have with when you lose a pet because they do become such massive parts of your life and so, yeah, we, we know we're not ready for a dog right now. You know, I know for a fact that I can leave my dog, my cats, and if we, if we want to go out for the day, we just make sure we're back by medication time. And... Like, with, with the cats, like, if you go on holiday, I do know that, like, they are pretty easy to look after, my cat. You know, just cats in general, you know. 
obviously someone will have to kind of give the cat a medication but that's about it but if we keep the cats separate then because viscous i tell you now she she doesn't really care for samoa she's just a bit mean she's a grumpy girl when it comes to samoa she just hiss at her and everything else she's never actually like hurt her but then she'll turn around and like go and clean Samoa, go and kiss her and clean her and all stuff like that. And I'm like, but you were just hitting her that, that poor cat a minute ago and now you're cleaning her. So yeah, Viscous is just, just a weird cat. She's a weird cat. <laughs> but yeah, um, we'd love to get another, another dog, but we know at the moment time isn't right. For example, next year, I really, for my 40th, around my 40th, maybe September or so next year. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to go to Disney, but I know we'd need thousands to go there. You know, to have that worry-free type of holiday there. But what I really want to do is I want to go to Auschwitz. I know it sounds a bit random to some people thinking, why do you want to go to concentration camp for your birthday? I'm just so interested in all that. I'd love to do like all in one trip. Like I'd love to go to Auschwitz and go to the yeah, Anne Frank Museum and all that. Because I I just I think they're so interesting and I've got huge respect for like Anne Frank, what she went through and all stuff like that. Let me know who anybody actually has been. I'd love to know. Because I, I'd like to go just, just, you know, I'm not religious or nothing. But I do believe that if you want to believe in a God, you can believe in a God. You know, I'm not going to judge anybody who does believe in God. Me, myself, I don't personally. But... Never, I never judge anyone who does want to believe in God because at the end of the day, if you want to believe, you want to believe. You don't want to believe, you don't want to believe. It's perfectly acceptable. And um, so, yeah, um, I would just love to go and just in my own little like, way pay my respects to them and promise that, make my own little promise to them that I would. You know, if anything else like that did try to happen where I am, then I would fight to for now not to allow it to happen. So, fingers crossed it doesn't happen. So, yeah, right. So, I'm going to carry on for a bit more. I haven't got much more left. I need to try and get this pink bit off, if not, if thingy. But I'll just show you. Let me just turn my ring light off. So, right. Turn the lights on. I don't know if you can see them underneath. Uh, turn the ring light off so you can actually. There you go. You should be able to see it. I'll show you the full once it's done, anyways. But I haven't got much left now. All right. So yeah, I'll carry on for a bit more, and um, we get this video finished. Can't wait. All right. Catch you in a bit. So my bottle is done. What do you guys think? I really do like how how it's come out like i um, said before i was kind of trying to do like a viney type pattern but i just wasn't really feeling all the massive gaps in it and i was like do you know what i'm just gonna cover the whole thing and then have a flower random on it so yeah absolutely do love how this has come out obviously it's gonna be a bit harder for you guys to see here but what are you going on now Oh, that's the lights on. Don't tell me I let this go. I've turned this on and not forgot about it. I don't know. Maybe I've turned it on and forgotten about it. Like a donut. I hope not. It doesn't look that bright. But yeah, um, I'll show you a close up of them anyway of how they look. So yeah, really, really pleased with how it's come out. And I do think, because I know like Mother's Day in other countries is like a later time of year. So, yes, yeah, so, um, because obviously we just had our Mother's Day in the UK. But, yeah, I do think this would make a lovely little Mother's Day present, you know. So, nab yourself, uh, if you don't drink at, at a neighbour's recycling, like 
I did because I like drinks, so I nabbed it out of someone's recycling. Um, and then you just need one of these, and these were for sale in Poundland at Christmas here in the UK, two for a quid. So you should be able to get them in all your hobby shops, shops anyway. It's just basically called a wine bottle light stopper something or rather like that. Um, I think it's like a wine bottle, call it a wine bottle cork light or wine bottle light. Uh, so yeah, but I do actually really love how it's come out. I think, you know, simple, very, very simple. But though, set on the side, well, you can't really see it, but yeah, sat on the side for somebody, you know, they will, I reckon, really, really would like that, you know. Or you can do whatever pattern you want, because like, I have done like a glass bottle type thing before in the past. This one's just uh, like all different patterns. And yeah, that one also looks really, really good. Instead of doing it on like a bottle like this, do it on a um, on a wine bottle, which obviously you know you can get for nothing. So yeah, definitely worth looking into get you know doing something like this if you want like a cheap way of giving a Mother's Day present. So yeah, Ooh, put that back there. So yeah, so that is it for this week's video. Let me know in the old comments down below what you think of my wine bottle. I really do like it. I think it's come out really, really good. So yeah, um, please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below, how, let me know how you think my wine bottle came out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. So yeah, really pleased with how it's come out. Let me know how you think. And it definitely would be a nice little idea for some of you guys for the old Mother's Day coming up. And also always use the B7000 glue on it because I do like B7000 glue. It's like, it does go a little bit stringy, but to be honest, can you guys even see it at a distance? You can't, can you? So yeah, absolutely love how it's come out. So yeah, so that is it for this video. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.